Well, obviously, these guys have been playing their butts off, going for their seventh straight win against the Flyers here in Sunrise tonight. So they're killing it on the ice, but it's not every day we get to see what their lives are like off of it. Well, lucky for us, we got an exclusive behind-the-scenes look to see Ryan Lomberg's home life and see how his family keeps him grounded throughout the season. Check it out. On the ice, he's another puzzle piece to the Red Hot Panther squad, but at home... Hi. <laughs> Hmm, camera. Well, he's just trying to help keep the pieces together. It's, of course, uh, a full-time job, like you can see. <laughs> it's... I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no touch, please. Thank you. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. With two under two, Ryan Lomberg says he's living the family life he's always wanted. I kind of always envisioned myself with a big family and playing in the NHL, so now that... With the German Shepherd. With the German Shepherd, yeah. So now that we're here, it's kind of... Surreal. I'm quite literally living my dream, so we're very, very thankful. While the season keeps him busy, Ryan makes it a point to be as present as possible when he is around his family, making sure to include his oldest, Roman, in his game day routines. Every single game day, they have pregame meal together. So, like, they sit on this right here and they eat their pasta. It looks like he could be following in his dad's footsteps one day, too. He loves his hockey sticks. He, he, he really won't put them down. Uh-oh, that's a big hockey stick. Watch out, everybody. Roman was just a baby when he went to his dad's first playoff game. I want to say he was two weeks old, and I brought him. And I put his headphones on, and he got his little like first hockey game pin, and, and I feel like that was it. All right, you're almost ready for the ice. Just this past Christmas, he was gifted all the hockey gear his little heart could want, or all Ryan could want. Literally, like, not even through that gate. He's like, well, you want to open your skates? I'm like, <sighs> Behind all the chaos, though, is his wife, Marissa, holding it all down. No, Sorry. Yeah, between my suit guy and her, they, they dress me for game have, days. Have to get the tie tied. The two never actually met until after graduating from the University of Maine, connecting through Instagram years later. But I went to a psychic after college and she was like, she was like, your husband doesn't know you, but you know who he is. And it all makes sense now. A young family of four now, the couple is taking everything day by day. Before we had kids, he was very, like, not a warrior in the world. And it's funny, now that we have them, he, like, pays attention to, like, the littlest things. Like, he'll come home and be like, what's that scratch on her face? Is she okay? Come on. Neither Ryan nor Marissa are originally from Florida, but say it already feels like home, raising their kids here doing Florida things like searching for gators in their backyard. Now, obviously, they're, they're dangerous if you let them get a hold of you, but... <laughs> Just looking at him, I think it's it's pretty cool that we have him in our backyard. As the Panthers near the postseason, one thing's for sure. Regardless of how their games end, Ryan's just happy he gets to come home to a family like this. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Every day it gets better and better and better, so we're, we're excited to see what the future has in store. Well, they really are just the sweetest family, aren't they? Again, a big thank you to the Lombergs for letting us inside their home. Puck drop is set for 7 p.m. We'll, of course, have those highlights for you later tonight. For now, in Sunrise, Samantha Rivera, CBS News, Miami.